What's going on everybody? Luke here again, Mr. FBA UK, bringing you another quick video. Uh, because before I forget, basically, uh, Luca, I know it's very similar, uh, wanted to know about what was I forgot the exact thing. It was to do with quantities over Q4, how to know what to buy or quantities to buy as you progress through the months. So I thought I'd literally just go through exactly what I did, show you the quantities here. I've, I've sort of changed my this is basically my purchase sheet, but I've got rid of all the tabs, like buy and sell prices. You can see the items, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, and the dates and the quantities here. And we're going to look quickly, and then I'll obviously show you a bit more over this side in a bit. And we're going to look at how the quantities may or may not have changed, because I don't even really know myself. Um, and yeah, and like, just so you can see, see what I've done last year. And obviously last year I was sort of going into it blind, so a lot of it I had to figure out as I went. So my approach this year may be different, but I still had a, for me, I still had a, a great Q4, even though now I'm thinking back, I think, okay, I can have a much greater Q4, but at the time, that was, I did, what was it, 80,000 in Q4, something, 80,000 pound, and made some good profit, took after Christmas and that sort of thing, you know, so, let's just get underway, so we can see here, oh, I remember last year I started buying more in September, so I started from the beginning of September here, because you can see August is there, September. Um, we're going to just look at these quantities. So all I'm going to start with is we're going to just browse through the list and go down and see the quantity numbers and see if we can see any uptrends or increases over time um, all the way through to December. So let's go. So you can see the dates here. We've got September. Uh, and I'll, I'll look through how many products I've bought and all that sort of thing later, just right now for quantities. So we're going to go down. Uh, okay, 10. It looks like a couple of 10s. Sixes and fours and twos and threes, ten. Okay, we're coming to October now, nearly. Many little quantities, six. So not not really anything's happening right now. Okay, so we can see that I've sort of increased. Twenty, eighteen, ten, thirteen. Um, two, 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 ten. So it's slightly increasing on some items. You can see that. Twelve, but then relatively mid October, ten. So in, in October at the moment, I'm looking like it is going up. You can see here there's batches of higher numbers here. So I'm probably preparing very much here. You can see this is Lego. Um, see, I would have bought a lot more because I know that Lego is very it holds its value. So it doesn't you don't really normally see huge fluctuations in price as long as the keeper graph tells you the correct information. Normally a Lego doesn't change too much, and also you could hold it till the end of a little bit later in Q4 and then get a little premium. So that's definitely a Lego tip there. I haven't sold for ages, and then I've changed sheets. So we can see here there was a slight increase in little areas, but nothing crazy. Uh, and we're actually at the end of October, which is always already one month into Q4. So, uh, and then we're going to go ahead into the new sheet. But this is when I had to start paying VAT. So I, um, hang on, let's go to the top. I had to add in a little tab for that. Okay, so we're looking again. We're now at the beginning of November here. So we're going down. Let's have a look. Quantities here still very relatively low. Uh, and if you remember, I did. At the end of the Q4, I did 80,000 in sales, so maybe even 85. I didn't quite look at the... I did have a... Oh, it doesn't matter. I didn't quite look at the Euro figures. I probably did about 15 in Europe thinking about it, so probably 85,000 in sales. And normally you make, it, make a 30% ROI on average, and then you make a 20% net profit. Uh, but you, you can do your own figures and go for that. Obviously, people go for different margins, so yeah. It's, it's almost irrelevant what I've done. So we just go down. The quantities still really low. low. Okay, we've got 36, but I know that's sort of a cheap item. It's a little, like, like beauty pen thing that you do for your eyebrows. Five, five, one. And we're mid-November, mid and there's really not much going on here. Like the quantities aren't particularly sticking out. You know, these are all below 10, and even below 6. There's nothing, you know, 6 or... Yeah, there's a, a couple of like 10s and 20s, but realistically, there's not. So we're looking at the 23rd of November here. Like, yeah, as always, if you've seen the last few months here, 10s, 2s, 4s, 10s. <sighs> right near the, at the end of November, and you're thinking, like, this is, isn't this near the end of Q4? So from what I can see, it almost, I almost didn't worry. So I'm even guessing the deal flow was really, really good, meaning I didn't need to buy, like, because if you're buying 30 or 40 or something, yes, you'll be able to sell it in Q4, but then your capital is tied up for too long. Because you could say you're going to get £5 profit on a £10 item, and you want to buy 40 because you know you can sell it all, all Q4. 
So you're, you're making sort of 50% ROI, yeah? But you can get that money out in three days and put it back in four times by then and only making 30% ROI, but you've actually made 10 quid or whatever. I'm just chucking numbers, but you know. So I probably went for this so that I could sell it in like a day. As soon as I booked in, all sold in the day. And then I bought another handful of fives, fours, two, you know. I don't exactly remember. I'm just trying to think why there's not higher numbers. Uh, tens, but we're looking, okay, there's a couple more tens there. All right, we're getting into December. Now this would be interesting to see if I do it, but all of this, all of these. Oh, yes, it's all on the same day, you can see. Sixes, not sure why I've left that out, probably being lazy. Tens, I mean, it's almost getting less. I'm not lying, there's no, look, look, look at it. Okay, I'm just going to find less. Okay, here we've got some 20s and 30s. Now, this item here, just read it for a minute. This item here, I, oops, it's completely not hanging on to it. You'll actually see. So what we're going to do, I'm going to copy, find it, and you'll see it now pop up everywhere, okay? So I found a little, uh, like a cool little product, and I'll go over it once I've done the end of this, okay? So you can, be, you can see it highlighted to show how many times I purchased it, and you can see the quantities I purchased there. Uh, and this sort of definitely helps my sales, I guess. But you can see here, pretty much the only item now that's going to show up is, is that I Oh, that's it. We're in January. So you can see, realistically, apart from this item here, I didn't really increase my quantities and items. Um, and I could still achieve, I still achieve, achieved an 85,000 turnover. So it's not about... All I know, thinking of back now, is that I know that the more SKUs you have live, <clears throat> the more visibility you're having over buy boxes. If you've got 10 items over 10 products, you're having the buy box for 10, 10 items. You could have all 10 at the same time. But if you have only 5 items with those items, instead of having 10, you actually buy 5. Over 20 items, which is the same cost, if they all cost the same price, but you're now visible over 20 buy boxes, so at what, any one time, you could be live on 20 buy boxes rather than 10. So you could get 20 sales for the same 10 sales, even though it's all the same, if you get what I mean. Um, so this Star Wars, I didn't make a great profit on it. Uh, let's go across it. I'll actually show you it. So it was... Uh, let's just bring these out. It cost me 34 99 And actually, if we go to the first one... That, uh, it's still going. You see, you can see how I many I bought. Getting more and more right here. Let's just go. Fifty nine ninety nine. As you go down, fifty. Oh, it still was. And I got it for yeah. So if you actually look at profit, uh, this is including VAT. It was twenty nine percent. I probably got went down to whatever it was. But my profit. What does it say? I've been fine. Ten pound was it? Yeah. So this is the line. So each item I got, I had £10. And what happens at the end of Q4 is you get so much money back fast. Like, fast, 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 fast. Like, you get, if everything sells fast, you get it back faster. So you're in the bank every day. You're getting, like, five times more money than you were a couple months before. And I was literally doing box of 10 from... It was literally Argos. This is You can even search it if you want. Let's see if it's there still. The prices, we have a quick look just because it's quite cool to see, isn't it? So at the moment it's 49 99 okay, fine. But actually, when Argos have their sales, you'll get that for 34 99 probably no problem. Not 100%, you have to check, but I'm guessing you probably will. The item's probably 44 99 now, 34 99 okay, so it's obviously gone down. But at Christmas time, you never know. Like, it may have even been this price this time last year. By the time I got to Christmas, then I started buying it, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and, and it was ranked 2,000 in toys or 1,000 in toys or something. And I was selling like 10 of these a day. Like I would book this would book in one day and I would sell all 10 in one day. So literally, if you look at the date, I bought 10 there. So in the same day, I bought 20. That The day before, I bought another 10. The day before that, I bought another 20. The day, two days before that, I bought four because that would be my first purchase. So in, I bought 30 there, you see what I'm trying to say? Like, in the same day I bought 
30 there. Now obviously 30 is 350 quid, so that's one purchase and 350 quid. Uh, and then then again, like 350, 350, 50. But obviously it takes 10 seconds, you're making 10 pound a unit and it sells 10 a day. Yes, the margins are below 30%. So people are using like, you know, FBA multi-tool or Bybot Pro and their, their margin is like, I'm not having it any less than 30 or 32, just to be safe, you know, like just a little bit above. You would never see this item. But who cares if it's selling 10 a day? I'm making 100 pounds profit a day. And all, all I was doing is I was ordering it that night, getting it delivered to me, because I was obviously hot. When you go Q4, you have to go hard. Getting up at 5.30, getting it delivered between 6 and 7 in the morning, prepping it, um, and then sending it in that day. And it normally took two days because they get loads of extra staff around. They normally get loads of extra staff. There are some some problems occasionally, but they get like double the staff because they want to get your stock in so that they make more profit from you because they know that Q4 is when they all make most money. We make most money and everyone wins. Well, I guess everyone wins. So you can just see from that, I'm not going to get off this, that there are items out there as well that can like just catapult your Q4. And I did, I probably didn't need to do that. And this year I probably don't need to, but if you can find the item, and, and, and the thing is no one probably like kept doing it because it was like December and I thought, oh, maybe we won't buy any more. But I knew it would take two days to get in. I think I sent my last batch like four days before the last day, booked in in two, and I sold like 40 or 50 before, you know, it's not really rocket science, just you roughly know how long it's going to take, you roughly know how much you're going to get. Da 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 da, bam. Like, there's no thought process really, you're just clicking, click, 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 like a bit like a robot, because you've done it already for the last month. And probability will state that as long as it carries on this path, you're good. So, so what I'm going to do now is you can see that the quantities really weren't anything. I'm just going to close this for a sec. Anything to notice? Really? So one, we've figured out that you don't need to bulk buy thinking that you have to bulk buy because it's Q4. We've established that. You can do. Like I've just shown you on that one item and then maybe you'll find five items or six items. Or, or ten, I don't know. And you want to maybe get, yeah, by the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to look, roughly look at how much I spent, um, because that's probably the best thing. So how much I spent over the period of each month, okay? Because that will give us a good indication if maybe I was finding more items, because it looks at the moment like nothing's changing. But obviously something this does change. Yes, you get four or five times your sales. That's that change. So we're going to start with September. I actually would like to freeze this. Where is the freeze button? Column? I guess that's right. No. Is that a column? I'm looking stupid. Row? Oh, I literally get, for some reason, like, to me, a column and a row. A row? Column? I'm pretty sure it's a column. Yeah. A column, like, I just get a bit. All right, I've got like a buy cost here, so. This is September, okay, so we're going to add up each month. I'm not going to spend too long because it's, I don't want to be a super long video, it gets a bit boring. £4,440 I spent last September, okay? So four and a half grand. October. Well, it feels like there's a lot more transactions here. October, 6,872. So you can see I've, I've got 33% increase, something like that. Right, let's go up to November. Let's just freeze this little thing. I guess I do two columns here. Um, buy costs. Right. Well, okay. Fifteen thousand two hundred and fifty-three. Now I don't know how many of those BB eight things in that month but we're not going to worry about that and then november so december and obviously december you're going to have to cut off early in the month so it'd probably be less yeah it's four uh, there fourteen thousand so you can see like it went from four thousand five hundred to fifteen thousand and i don't know if i had that much more money that i put in personally or like from a loan or from some other source because I've got the finance I, I secured was like in September, and I put it in 
over September and the beginning of October. So the actual purchases or the buy cost would be in those two two months at least. But really, you've noticed that November and December it's like tripled. That's no, I'm not putting it. All you do is you get your money back so much faster that you can put that seed back in. So that pound, you get you're almost getting back that pound just so much faster. But you only have one. You want to get that pound in and out as fast as you can in one month because you've got one set of expenses, one set of salary. You know, the pound doesn't know how many times it's coming out and it doesn't know you have a month to almost like, you would obviously go by a month. That's how, that's sort of how you mentally go judge your sort of how well you're doing. You can get that pound in and that pound out 17,000 times faster if you could. And you would, your, your purchase cost could be 200,000 pounds from only 1,000 pounds. If you could get it in so fast and out so fast, it would just look, you know, what I'm trying to say? And this is why it looks, so that's, th that's th 30 grand spend in two months. And that was only my first Q4. Like I had no idea what I was doing. I was only selling toys, no groceries, no beauty, literally just toys, 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 toys. And now I'm selling no toys, like zero toys. And obviously I will transition into toys in end of September, maybe October, and build up a bit of inventory for toys as we go into the season. Because obviously that will turn over faster than... I think groceries will sell one and a half times they are at the moment, maybe two. Like certain things are bought as fun, like chocolates or like, I don't know, you'd like certain things. Beauty, maybe two or three. So I'll say three times. Um, health and personal care, maybe three times. Toys, five to uh, ten times, depending on the product. And that's, it might be completely off, but I'm just going on that. That's how I, that's just how I'm going to judge it. So yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, I'm not going to go over how many items I bought, but you, you can see it from the value. Because this quantities didn't really change, meaning I must have found a lot more deals. Um, and basically I must have spent all my money all the time. So therefore I couldn't have actually bought more quantities of everything. So if I could, if I had double the money, I could have bought double the units of most of these items. And I could have doubled my turnover. Because I don't think I had a huge amount of inventory left at the end of the month, uh, end of the year. Like 400 units. Because obviously you stop at a certain date. And then you don't really touch it until like the beginning of January. So you, you have a couple of like two weeks, I say 10 days, two weeks when nothing happens. And obviously you'll dwindle your infantry down and you sort of start again for the new year. Uh, I'll be going into like Q1s and stuff after this. Uh, probably, yeah, at some point. So we sort of saw how much I did, but I also want to show you this. I don't really care if you see it. This is amounts I was getting back from Amazon over the time. So I've gone from the beginning of September to the third, basically September. Uh, it's back to front. So this is how much I was getting. So every, that's like a couple of days, that's like five days, that's like four days, three days, that's two days. Um, I didn't, if the weekend is there, I'll normally roll it over a little longer. So you can't get it out in the weekend. So I just, I just leave it till Sunday night, withdraw it would, on the Monday, it will process my app, like my backs comes in Wednesday or Thursday, depending on the speed of Amazon. Two days, two days, three, four days, pretty weekends. So, so, so you do the four, four days or two days usually. So you can see here it's between five hundred and thousand, and this is obviously getting to thousand, is getting into October. So you can sort of see a trend, a little trend, not really much, but just a little bit more there or there. Okay. Now we're going to go into the next month. I have to quickly check how many days in October because I don't really care enough to memorize it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, 31st of the 10th. 17. All right. So, let's see. Okay. Well, that was one, one day. So. Smallish there. So, I had to like pause it for two seconds. It's been, might be a bit of a jump. Um, oh, there's two pages. Mm. Okay. So it's pretty standard. 1,000, because it's probably a couple more days, like I said, because of the weekend, and then back to the what we had before. Three, six, nine. It's not really doing much here. So if you saw my other video, I actually said that from the 22nd of October is when I noticeably saw some changes in my sales and obviously it does take up to seven days to completely sort of 
normally to pay you out. It takes three to five, two there. But that's to say, by the time you've actually done it all, yeah. So you can see here, it's starting to pick up, and it's okay there. So the money's a little bit better, but nothing. And that, and that's where, like, I would have got finance. So I would have, I would have known that I needed to improve my stock in advance, but the payments weren't yet coming in to be able to do that. So you've got to prepare your stock in advance for Q4, so you can have enough variety and all sorts. But you're not getting the money yet from Q4. So there's a gap in that, isn't there? And the gap is a source of finance, and it's a topic that people, some people are scared of the word debt. Just I just believe it's it's instilled that debt is a bad thing. But all you're doing is leveraging other people's money to make profit. Like you gotta, it's just the whole of society really, isn't it? It's built around like you've got to go to work, you've got to get a mortgage, which is the most extreme debt you can ever get. But then getting a, a four grand, five grand debt for a business, which is Clearly, obviously, going to make you some profit if you do it properly, and it's just, but it's just the mindset of of how people have been brought up in that. And for me, I don't really adopt any of that. That's just personal, how I am, how I've grown up myself. So, whatever. so we we'll carry on. Um, so you can clearly see that the money isn't is improving, but it's not. So with if you didn't get any source of finance, yes, you could still have good. You wouldn't be able to build up the stock enough. I probably doubled or tripled my stock from beginning of September to mid-October but you're not but mid-October is here and you're not really getting enough money back yet to be able to double or triple your stock you can probably improve it but you, you see what I'm trying to say and, and, and then by the time you've got it in you've lost you've lost a bit uh, of, of Q4 so that's just how I see it personally and of course none of this is financial advice and everyone likes to say that on their YouTube videos just because that's how it is uh, and this is just me talking from my experience and what I've learned over the year. So then we're going to jump ahead for November. Da, 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 da. Is that 30? Yes, I think so. so. No, there's not. Okay. Like this. Right, so let's see. Oh, you can clearly see that. I mean, I'm going to go to the beginning of uh, November, but. Right. So still, really, it doesn't actually start being noticeable until, like, here. So that's, like, for after the first week of November, I don't see, see noticeable improvements. Yes, the dates are actually just one-ish days, so I am getting more, but the amounts I'm getting aren't that much. Yeah, I'm getting double as fast, so it's almost the equivalent of a £1,000 over four days, but I won't go into too much of that. But then if we go to end of November... Now you can see here, this is every couple of days, one day, one day. That is only two or three days. Now that is when it's, is it Black Friday? So this is a Black Friday. Well, I never, so like when they had that Prime Day the other week, month, like to me, I'm not selling, I'm not putting anything at sale because I'm doing online arbitrage, I'm not having private label, so it's irrelevant to me. But when it's like this, when it's Black Friday, everyone, Blocks, and I didn't really think it existed as such, unless you have private label or sort or sorts of that. But that was literally just. But I had like two. I had four thousand pounds in sales in two days, basically, and that was the catapult for Q4 for me. And this obviously doesn't include. Well, I don't know. And you can see it goes up, goes up, goes up, and then we're going to go to November, December. Come on. And this thing is annoying. Uh, I think there's 31 days in December these days. Yeah. Oh, da, 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 da. Right, so let's go to page two. I'm just going to, even though you don't really need to see page two, I'm still going to go. Two, one. So you can now see it's really picking up. And this is probably every day or two now, rather than seven. That's going to be a weekend. One day, one day, one day, a couple more days, but you can see it's three and a half grand. One day, one day, two days, for some reason. Oh, yeah, so that might have been like, well, it's surprisingly light, to be fair. But you can see it's dropping off here. And what did I say that my last uh, my last shipment day would be? So I, the, my last shipment day is going to be the 17th of December, and anything that straggles on the 18th. 
Uh, and the 22nd is like two days, three days before Christmas. So that period, almost no one's buying, maybe the last day, but almost no one's buying. So you can see a drop off appears. Um, and then I guess we have a look at January. I don't really know what what's, um, this will show. Just, I'm not that worried. 30th of the first. Don't care how many days are in a month. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, that's probably because I just left it a little bit. Uh, I don't know why I would have left it, to be fair. Probably because in Q1, it's a bit of a shock to the system, and I don't know why that's been. I don't know. But you see what I mean? So. I know that these don't necessarily look like not not January, but December and November don't look huge. Like okay, it's a thousand pounds. Like I'm spending now a thousand pounds. If I get two grand in the bank from Amazon, I can spend a grand in like an hour. Um, obviously then I wasn't, but I'm just trying to. I don't know. You can see the increase. Um, and yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much the end of the video. Uh, I don't think it's anything else to cover. Let me just see what I put in my notes. Uh, yeah, all done. Right, I mean, you can clearly see <coughs> that there's from this there's a there's a gap between. Uh, you basically want to get your infantry. I did it a little early. I bought it like at the beginning. I was pumping quite a lot in the beginning of all of September. Now I will do increase over September, but I won't do it as, as crazy because at the beginning of October you find the same deals normally. And then, so you're basically, same point buying it all in September to hold it for four weeks, to then, so it sells in October, because you can just buy it at the beginning of October, and actually you just bought different stuff and turned it all over once already. So that was, that's like a tip I found, but obviously each year is probably different for Christmas, I don't know. I've already done one Q4, and each Q4 I'll probably learn a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, and I'll have a bit more of a picture, but this is just from one current Q4, and yeah, hopefully it's a little bit of an insight because I'm sure a lot of you thought I've got to like 5x my purchases so buying like 4 or 6 I am buying 30 or 20 and actually I've just showed you don't really need to I should know some you have to do it a little bit I think but if you can get enough deal flow it's almost not that important because you're still getting your money in stock from somewhere and actually it's probably better to have less because you know if any issues occur you've actually only got a handful of one item rather than like loads so yeah i'll leave it there hopefully you liked the video uh smash a thumbs up of course subscribe it's actually i've uh, got over like 50 subscribers it's not too bad is it actually you know um and yeah hopefully you have a good day and i'll see you on the next video